Tunisia's traditional rumly agricultural systems in the lagoons of the Gar Al Mel and its hanging gardens have been recognized as globally important agricultural heritage systems, a designation managed by the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. Their recognition as important sites will encourage local communities to treasure and conserve their heritage for future generations. CGTN's Adnan Chouachi has the story. The lagoons of Ghar al-Malh is a translation from Arabic of the expression salt cave. They are located in the beautiful region of Bizert, north of Tunisia. This is where Ramli agricultural practices, meaning on sand, were created in the preserved gardens between the 16th and 17th century by the Andalusian diaspora to cope with the lack of cultivable land and fresh water. Ali Garci is a retired teacher and farmer who was born and raised in the area of the lagoons of Ghar al-Malh. These lands were created by nature. There were small islands formed by the sand, which is moved by sea water currents. And the Luasians lived in a very small territory, so they exploited the natural lagoons between the mountain and the sea for agriculture. The ingenious practices are based on a passive irrigation system where the roots of the plants are fed through each season by rainwater stored and floating on the surface of the sea through the movement of the tides. This traditional system makes it possible to grow crops all year round without artificial water supplies, even during periods of drought. Now the farmers are coping with the challenge of water scarcity in summer. When the rainfall was more important and regular, rainwater was stored for months and the roots of the plants could be fed easily. In addition, the movement of the tides was interrupted in some areas following the construction of a road over some sections of the lagoons in the 1970s. Since then, some farmers are fighting for survival. The local Union of Agriculture and Fisheries provides financial aid and technical assistance to hundreds of farmers in order to valorize local products. This farming technique is unique as it uses a natural phenomenon to irrigate hectares of land on sand. Preserving this ancestral tradition is important in order to guarantee food security for the population in the surrounding villages. Ahmed is a 71-year-old landowner who has refused to sell his plots to Tunisian and foreign investors. He still clings to agriculture and refuses the urbanization of the region. Some people who inherit lands do not hesitate to sell their plots to any newcomer who pays millions. While I believe in my sacred role as the guardian of this territory, Tunisia has no future without agriculture. The farmer lives on this island which produces the best organic fruits and vegetables in the North African state. The traditional knowledge preserved over the centuries enables Ahmed to maintain the lagoon plots through the precise supply of scent and organic matter so that the crops reach the right height, allowing the roots to be irrigated by a fine fresh water and not to be affected by salt water. Some traders drive for over 120 kilometers to buy, then distribute the precious products of the lagoons at the wholesale market in the capital city, Tunis. This wholesale market is the favorite destination for over 10,000 merchants from 24 regions across Tunisia. However, only a few vendors can afford to distribute the fruits and vegetables of the lagoons. I have no problem selling the products of the lagoons. Their price could be higher because of the transport cost, but it's worth it. Consumers like the taste of the organic products. I support small producers and street vendors who offer the best quality products. Nowadays, eating organic fruits and vegetables is a privilege. There are less than 6,000 inhabitants in Ghar al-Milh. Their number increases to over 100,000 tourists in the summer. Consequently, there are more consumers of the rumly fruits and vegetables from June to September. As a result, the farmers in the lagoons are not tempted to abandon their lands as long as demand for organic products is on the rise in Tunisia. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Ghar al-Milh, Tunisia.